Kelsey and Kendra and today we're sharing with you our favorite drugstore products this is gonna be our holy grail drugstore products so all of these things are basically things we cannot live without in the drugstore so if any of these things got discontinued we'll probably cry so all of these things are things from skincare to makeup we're not gonna be talking about hair products in this video because this video will probably be two hours long so we're just trying to keep it strictly in that era yeah just makeup and skincare and that's it yeah so we're just gonna go ahead and hop right into it because this video is still probably gonna be very long. So we're gonna start with the makeup first and starting with foundation, our Holy Grail foundations in the drugstore. Mine is the Revlon Color Stay, and you guys have heard me mention this numerous times before and I've been using this foundation for years and that's because it's so amazing and it's like the best full coverage foundation in the drugstore. So if you're oily and you like that full coverage matte like foundation, this is like where it said this is amazing and like I said I've been using this for years and the only thing I couldn't stand about this foundation was the smell and I use this today and I feel like they changed the smell it doesn't have a scent anymore because it used to have like a strong like paint scent if that makes sense you know what I'm talking about if you've been using this for years but I feel like the recent like packaging well this is the same packaging but the formula inside the smell is, it is non scented now so I love that and it's still the exact same foundation it just doesn't smell strong anymore so love this and I'm in the color 410 cappuccino and I am wearing it today okay so my holy grail drugstore foundation is you guys probably already know it's the Revlon nearly naked I've talked about this foundation numerous times you guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about this foundation but I love it that much I'm in the color 290 cappuccino. I am wearing it today. I just really like this foundation because it's super lightweight. It's not full coverage, but it is buildable. So you can build it up to be full coverage. It doesn't feel like you're wearing like a whole bunch of makeup, which I really like because I obviously love wearing makeup, but sometimes I don't like the feel of a whole, of a whole bunch of makeup being on my face. So I really like this foundation for that reason because it's super lightweight and it doesn't feel like you're wearing makeup. So the Revlon Nearly Naked. Okay, so the next product is something we probably should have mentioned before foundation, but this is the number seven beautifully matte makeup base. You can get this at Target. Kendra and I have been using this for a little bit over a year now, and we just like been using it ever since. It's pretty amazing. I feel like it's not a primer. You still want to apply a primer like that helps with pores and mm -hmm. like smooths everything out on your entire face. But this we use in like our oily areas, like yeah. the most oily areas on our face like obviously our t-zone area mm -hmm. and like it's just so amazing i can tell the difference when i use this and when i don't use this yeah and i i normally like to put this on if i know i'm going to be wearing makeup for a super long period of time like mm -hmm. if i have to wear it for an entire day and i want my makeup to stay you know nice and matte and not look you know super super oily like i tend to do but this is amazing for your t-zone area like it's just the business is no joke it's super super affordable i think this was like seven or eight dollars and i hope they sell number seven at all targets because that's where we see it all the time yeah so um this brand we always see at target so love this okay the next item i'm going to mention is a concealer and this is the maybelline fit me concealer i absolutely love this concealer I, as you can see this one is pretty beat up it doesn't even have like the name on it anymore because i've had this one for such a long time but it's just still product in here so i'm not gonna throw it away just yet um a lot of people compare this to the nars radiant creamy concealer um this is just super pigmented it gives amazing coverage it doesn't really work like a drugstore product it really has good coverage so when i first used this i was very surprised at the coverage that it gave i actually reached for it more than i reached for my mac pro longwear concealer which is really, really weird because i haven't even picked that one up in like over a month because i've been using this one so it's really inexpensive super cheap but it doesn't work cheap so i really like this concealer a lot the maybelline fit me and i am in the color 35 deep so yeah okay the next product that we have to talk about is a powder and this is the neutrogena skin clearing mineral powder and kelsey and i are really huge fans of mineral makeup in general but this powder in particular has been like We've been using this for years literally like we started using this in high school and we uh -huh. always go back to it for some reason it's just it doesn't break us out it's matte but it's not cakey yeah. even though it is on the pricey side for drugstore yeah. i still feel like it's worth it it actually went up from what it used to be because it used to be around ten dollars yeah now it's like 13 13 almost 14 dollars and yeah. i was like the drugstore getting kind of high mm -hmm. but it's obviously you're still saving a lot more money than if you would you know use a, a 30 dollar powder yeah a high-end 30 dollar powder so yeah this has been our ride or die for a long time like kendra said high school days mm -hmm. like when we didn't even wear 
that liquid, much makeup. Liquid foundation, we, we would just, just use wear, this. Wear this. It mm -hmm. has really good coverage. Yeah. And the only thing I don't like about the Neutrogenic products, they don't have a huge color selection. Yeah. So they need to get up on that and get some more variety <laughs> because I feel like this is like the darkest shade of the powder. So that's the only thing I don't like. Thank God when I use my foundation, it's a shade darker than this powder. So it kind of balances everything out. So I would change this, the color selection. I wish they had a bigger yeah, variety. I do too. Okay, now moving on to eye products. Me and Kendra are drugstore eye product the junkies, junkies. Yes. like the mascaras the eyeliners, eyeliners like drugstore eyeliners and mascara they're they amazing have, they have really good quality mm -hmm. like lie. you don't even have to like spend your money on a high-end mascara or eyeliner because mm -hmm. the ones at the drugstore are so good so the first thing we're going to talk about is the l'oreal telescopic mascara and you carbon guys carbon black yes carbon black yes um you guys have seen both of us use this mascara numerous times. I think this is like the only one I pick up. I have like literally 10 mascaras in my like drawer thing. This like this is the only one we use. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's, I, I feel like nothing else works like it. I love nope. the wand. It um, extends your lashes. And I'm it's super duper black. black. Yes. And uh, this is the only one I like to use on my lower, lower lash lashes. line. Mm -hmm. Because it catches them. Mm -hmm. Because I need some help in the lower lash line department. <laughs> Um, but I just feel like this is the only thing that makes my lashes like you can notice them the most Yeah, and it defines them and I love the way the one separates the lashes and it's small and it's small Yes, it's like, not clumpy. I'm not into those super fat mascara ones because I feel like it can tend to get real messy mm -hmm. And like it's just annoying. Clumpy. Yeah, it's too much So I feel like this is a perfect happy medium because it gives you a little bit of volume as well as obviously length mm -hmm. so this is like my number one mascara ever. I will never stray away from this mascara. No. I remember at one point Kendra told me it was discontinued. I thought it was discontinued. Somebody like, told me, but I saw it in Target and it, they had a lot of them. Yeah, I was like, there, so. it's right here. As long as they keep selling it, I'm going to keep buying it. And mm -hmm. that kind of scares me that they say it's going to be discontinued. So yeah. it makes me want to buy like backups. Yeah. But I don't think it is. Yeah. I don't think it is. Mm-mm. Okay, so the next product that I have to talk about is a brow pencil, and this is like my holy grail. When I say this is the only thing that I use on my brows that I can do in my sleep, because at one point I was not the best at brows, I'm not going to lie, but this made me more comfortable with perfecting like my brow situation. So this is the NYX Auto Eyebrow Pencil, and this is so hard to find now because it seems like ever since I mentioned it for the very first time, this color is always gone. Like dark brown is always gone. And obviously that's the color I'm in. And you can get this at Ulta and like Target. I don't know that you can get it at Walmart, but I always get it at Target or Ulta. This brow pencil is just so amazing. It's really skinny. You don't need to like put a whole lot of pressure on your eye. You can just do light strokes and it just makes them nice and defined. And it gives you a lot of control with your brows. Because if you don't like working with powders, Kelsey likes to do the powder with, for her brows. But personally for me, I'm a pencil kind of girl. So if you like brow pencils, please go pick up the NYX Auto Brow Pencil. Especially if you're a beginner with brows. Because some people... It's hard for them to work with powders in the beginning when they're starting to do their brows. So I would highly recommend the NYX Auto Brow Pencil. This is like, this is amazing. So I love this. Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about is a liquid liner that is something I've newly bought. I've, I want to say discovered because I already knew about this eyeliner. Everybody talked about it, but I was just like, oh, I'll just stick on my e.l.f. one, which I still love. But this is the NYC Liquid Liner, and I'm absolutely obsessed with this liner. I don't know why I haven't purchased it earlier, but I just really like it. It's super pigmented, it's super wet, and it dries matte, which I really, really like. I'm actually surprised at how good of quality this eyeliner is because I'm not a big fan of NYC products, to be completely honest. But this eyeliner is, like, blowing me away. And this one in particular, it just has amazing like the wand is so skinny it's just so easy to work with the only thing i don't like about it is how long this part is and sometimes like you have to it have gets, a steady hand yeah it gets on my lashes which is kind of annoying the formula so i just have to like like wipe it off a little bit but the formula is out of this world amazing super pigmented um this one in particular this this one is just the nyc liquid eyeliner because they have like two different kinds so this one is the one with the long wand uh, obviously i just did a, I, uh, you saw a close-up of it so it just looks like that because they have more than one but this is the one that has the best formulation so i really like this liquid liner it's amazing 
Okay, so the next product I have is also an eyeliner. And Kelsey just mentioned that this is the e.l.f. Liquid Eyeliner. This stuff is always and forever will be like my one of my favorite liquid liners in the drugstore. If not my favorite, yeah, it's my favorite because it's a dollar. And that makes it number one to me. <laughs> like, you just cannot beat this. A dollar, like, you cannot go wrong. Anybody can buy this. Like, your seven-year-old sister can buy this. Like, it's a dollar. <laughs> It's, and it's so amazing, like, the fact that it's a dollar and it's super pigmented and how dark it comes out. There's just, like, it's almost too good to be true. It's like, you need this eyeliner in your life and it's super easy to use. It also has kind of like a brush, like, like applicator tip thing, but it's so easy to work with. It's a lot shorter than the NYC one. <laughs> so if it's hard for you to work with, like, a longer, like, handle, mm -hmm. this is really, really good for a beginner, so... I'm just obsessed with this eyeliner. I don't know what else to say about it besides it's amazing. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to mention is a cold pencil. And this is the L'Oreal Silk. I don't know how to say this, but I'll do a close-up. Um, it's just the Silk Cold Pencil in Black. And I'm absolutely obsessed with this cold pencil. I saw a commercial like a few months ago, and I was like, I want to try that cold pencil. So I bought it. And I absolutely love it. It's super creamy. It doesn't run, which can be kind of annoying with cold pencils if they're too creamy because if they're creamy, they run real easy. Yeah. And I cannot stand that. But this one is creamy and it stays in your waterline, which I really like. So I'm absolutely obsessed with this cold pencil. So yeah, this is the L'Oreal Silk Cold Pencil. I will put the whole name down below so you guys can see exactly what to buy. But I'm obsessed with this cold pencil. I absolutely love it. So the cold pencil that I have to talk about is from Rimmel. This is the Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Cold Pencil. And this is in the color black. Obviously, it's the only color eyeliner I use. These are amazing. And as you can see, I have two because I have to have a backup. I normally keep one in my purse, one in my makeup vanity area. These are pretty amazing. And these are like only like $3, $3.99, something like that. And as you can see, I've used quite a bit of them because they started out a lot longer than this. And the only thing I don't like is that I have to sharpen them, but that's just me being lazy. <laughs> um, this, These are super, super pigmented, and the best part, like I said, they're waterproof, so they don't run. They don't give you raccoon eyes, especially if your eyes water a lot like mm -hmm. mine. Because I feel like my eyes tend to water a lot more than normal. I don't know why. Especially, like, if you're outside. Like, now that it's getting cold outside and it's not as windy sometimes, mm -hmm. and your eyes get, like ridiculously watery so these are really really good and i highly highly recommend them if you're on the hunt for a new eyeliner to put in your waterline and you guys saw me use this in a couple of videos so i'm pretty obsessed with it and yes like i said it's super pigmented and waterproof so you can't go wrong with either one of those okay the last eye product i have to talk about to you guys is something i have mentioned numerous times this is the eye studio gel liner by maybelline y'all know i'm obsessed with this stuff because i'm all about that gel liner life this is amazing. It has amazing pigmentation and it's easy to work with and it doesn't dry out super fast, which is kind of surprising because it is a drugstore product and their gel eyeliners tend to dry out really quickly, but the Maybelline one to me seems to last the longest. Um, this is actually my second jar that I've bought in, in like two years. So that shows you how long they last, like for real. So yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with this gel liner. I've been using it for a very long time and obviously this is the color black. So yeah, I'm obsessed with this gel liner. Okay, the next items we're going to talk about are the Milani Baked Blushes. We are absolutely obsessed with these blushes. Yes. We've been using these for, for years. a long, long, long years. time. You guys know our number one color was always the Fantastico Mauve. Yes, which is the color that I have. And the only color that I have because <laughs> I'm just like a creature of habit and it looks the most flattering on me. And you can put it on with your eyes closed and know it's going to look good. I can apply it, sleep. That's how good it is. And the two colors that I have are Coralina and Dolce Pink. Um, these colors are absolutely gorgeous. I really like Coralina for the spring and summertime because it's a coral color. And Dolce Pink is more of a mauve pink color. Um, the only thing I don't like about Dolce Pink is it has more glitters mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. But they're still really pretty and give you a really gorgeous highlight as well as the Coralina. Mm -hmm. but I just really love both of these. So these colors are absolutely gorgeous. And y'all know Milani is like... Amazing, amazing with their blushes mm -hmm. and like Kelsey said these all have like a little mm -hmm. sheen to them so it's like a blush and a highlight in one mm -hmm. so if you're one of those people like it's hard to find a good highlight in the drugstore let's be honest yeah so this is like a one-stop shop so only thing is I wish they sold Milani in other drugstores like Target and Walmart it's so hard to find so you can only find it at CVS which sucks but everybody has a CVS so just go to CVS and mm -hmm. get your Milani blushes yeah 
And if they do sell Milana at your Target, then you're lucky. Yes. Okay, lastly for makeup, we're gonna be talking about lipsticks. And the first lipsticks I have to mention are from Maybelline. And these Maybelline lipsticks are pretty amazing. They have so many different lines, but I feel like all of their lipsticks as a whole are pretty amazing and they're super pigmented. They have an amazing color variety. Mm -hmm. um, the two colors I have here are from the in the buff collection. That's what I think these pack this packaging is from. But the two I have here are Untainted Spice and Maple Kiss, and they're bomb. So you saw these colors in mine and Kelsey's favorite fall lipsticks video mm -hmm. and we wanted to mention neutrals for you guys because we know a lot of people some people don't like dark vampy lips and these two colors caught my eye the most when we went like lipstick you know looking we we're supposed to be looking but we ended up buying <laughs> um these two colors are so so gorgeous like this maple kiss is like a nice orange color like kelsey said it's very comparable to the nars audacious lipstick in the color jane mm -hmm. so if you don't want to spend 32 dollars on that Spend the five dollars on this because it's so gorgeous and it's like the perfect like terracotta orangey it's brown so pretty color. It's mm -hmm. like a nice brick undertone to it. Yeah. So this is gorgeous. Perfect for fall. And the next color is Untainted Spice. And you guys know I'm obsessed with this color. I like to mix this color with other lip colors. And it's just like the most gorgeous brown, but it's not too brown to the point where it's like vampy. It's still in that neutral mm -hmm. range, if that makes sense. So if you're looking for a neutral brown lipstick for like every day, this is where it's at. So Untainted Spice is so, so gorgeous. Okay, the next one I'm going to talk about, the first one is the one Kendra just mentioned, Maple Kiss by Maybelline from the In The Buffs collection. Y'all know I'm obsessed with this color. I wore it a lot in the beginning of fall, and every time I put it on, everybody was like, what's on your lips? And I was like, Maple Kiss by Maybelline. So this is definitely one of my signature colors, I would say. So I really like this color a lot. And then the next color is something I've had for a very long time. I've used this color in numerous makeup tutorials. This is Be Bot Love from Wet n Wild. This is the furry collection, but if you want a color similar to this, then Bear It All by Wet n Wild is pretty much the same thing. And I like this color because it's not too light of a nude because when it comes to nudes, they can tend to look too white, light looking on darker skin tones. Like chalk. Yeah, like chalk. And I hate that look. So mm -hmm. I feel like this color is a perfect um, happy medium um, for a nude for a darker skin tone. It's like a peachy undertone. It does. Super pretty. So obsessed with this color. Be About Love by Wet n Wild. But this is from the Furry Collection. So I'm not sure if it's still in the store right now. But Bear It All by Wet n Wild is pretty much the same thing. So the next lipstick we have to talk about is from Milani. And Milani lipsticks in general are just amazing. Yes. Like they're at the top. Like if I were to mention like top three brands for drugstore lipsticks, Milani would it's be up there. there. It's probably, probably number, number one. one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good and they smell amazing. amazing. They smell like watermelon. Like Jolly Rancho. Ooh, I want some candy. But this color in particular, Kelsey put me onto. This is Naturally Chic. Y'all have heard me talk about this over, over and, and over and over. Like again. a broken record, yes. <laughs> But this color is amazing. It's the yes. perfect neutral mm -hmm. for darker skin tones. It's gorgeous. And yeah. it also looks good on light skin tones. But obviously it looks darker on lighter skin tones. Mm -hmm. And it looks lighter on darker skin tones. <laughs> but it's like the perfect neutral that looks good on everybody. everybody. I agree. Yeah. And as you guys can see, I have used the crap out of this. Yes. It's nothing left. Mine won't even roll up anymore. And this is all I have left as well. So we might need to get, you know, some more. Another <laughs> one. Because... Yeah. Clearly, you can see that we love it this much because it's just amazing. So, Naturally Chic by Milani. And a lot of you guys mentioned that lipstick a lot. That you love it and you got it because of our recommendation. And you're welcome. Because it looks gorgeous on everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, the last lip products I'm going to talk about are not lipstick. They're lip glosses. And these are the NYX Butter Glosses. Y'all know these have been around for a very, very, very long time. But I'm obsessed with these lip glosses. They're super moisturizing they're very pigmented because you know most lip glosses claim to be pigmented but they give off the clear lip gloss finish which i hate but i have the colors peaches and cream strawberry parfait sugar cookie and cupcake and i absolutely love all these colors the colors that i have are summer mostly summer colors but they definitely have a really wide variety of colors they have like vampy colors to like really nude color so i just love this collection in general and they smell really really good they have like a sweet fruity smell which i really like so i'm just obsessed with these lip glosses they're absolutely amazing so nyx butter glosses if you have not gotten on these i'm sorry to tell you you're late okay so that's it for makeup we didn't have any eyeshadows to mention to you guys mm -hmm. because our holy grail eyeshadow used to be 
wet and wild, but we for feel the for the drugstore, but we feel like they changed their formula. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of disappointing. We really don't use hardly any drugstore eyeshadows because no. I just feel like they don't compare to a high end eyeshadow, which no. is very unfortunate, but You'll be okay if you want to fork out the books on a high-end eyeshadow and just basically use drugstore everything else. else. Especially if you buy a palette like a Lorac Pro or yeah. Naked Palette or whatever you want to get. Mm -hmm. the, invest in palettes because they yeah. last so, so long. Mm -hmm. And like Kelsey said, the drugstore, they need to get on it with better eyeshadow selections yeah. because they don't. The only thing, the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows look really, really pretty and nice and pigmented. But no one has nice matte shades. It's annoying. And you need matte shades to complete a look. So, yeah. They need to get on it with that. Yeah. Okay, so the first item we're going to talk about is something that we've talked about numerous times, like a lot of these other products. But this is the Nivea Essentially Enriched Body, body lotion. lotion. And this is the only body product we have in this entire video because this is the only lotion that we will buy from the drugstore. Mm -hmm. Like, ever. It's the only thing that works for us. And this is probably like my third or fourth bottle because they last so long <laughs> yeah. and we've been using this for so long. Mm -hmm. This one in particular, the Essentially Enriched, is the only formula that's amazing. Everything yeah. else is mediocre. It's alright. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it just says it has almond oil and Hydra IQ, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. um, it just says deep and long lasting moisture for dry to very dry skin. So yes. if your skin is not really that dry, then this probably won't work for you. Yeah, it might be too greasy. Yeah, but if you have extra dry skin, then this would be perfect for you. Yes, it's really intense of like a mm -hmm. lotion. It gives you the moisture that a body butter would, yes. but it's in a lotion form. Yeah. And it has like a nice, like shiny finish to it. If mm -hmm. that makes sense, it gives you like a nice glow. Mm -hmm. So I'm obsessed with this lotion. I don't and care if it's five or six dollars no i don't either and it's long lasting yes. like you know how you put on lotion and you're like not ashy for like five minutes and, and then you're, you're ashy, ashy again? again that's so annoying like the suave lotions jergens i'm sorry no no <laughs> Mm -mm. Like this is where it's at because me and Kendra have used a lot of drugstore lotions mm -hmm. and nothing compares to this one. Nothing works for us. So, yeah. Okay, so the next skincare item we have to talk about is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Makeup Removing Wipes. Yes. And Kelsey introduced me to these because I smelled them one day like when she walked past me on my wig you just put on. She's <laughs> like, I just took my makeup off. And these smell amazing. Yes. They're like so like fresh and like clean smelling but not too overpowering mm -hmm. and I love Aveeno as a brand anyway but I never like came across their makeup wipes until recently when Kelsey saw them I always forget about them these are pretty amazing so you guys saw me mention this in our October favorites. October favorites and they are definitely one of my top favorite makeup wipes ever um, like Kendra said they smell amazing and they actually do the job of removing your makeup mm -hmm. gently yes they don't burn your eyes no. they're not greasy feeling which I cannot stand so these are definitely a good makeup wipe if you have sensitive skin mm -hmm. and you like your wipes to smell good. Yes. And also if makeup wipes tend to dry your skin out, these don't dry your skin yeah, out. They, they say don't. with moisture rich natural soy extract. Mm -hmm. So these are amazing if you um, like don't like makeup wipes because they dry your skin out. Mm -hmm. These don't. Yeah. So they're pretty, they're pretty good. Okay, so the last makeup wipes we're gonna mention to you guys are the oil-free cleansing wipes, the pink grapefruit acne prone makeup removing wipes by Neutrogena. These makeup wipes are absolutely amazing. They smell amazing. I just really like these. Sometimes I don't even use these to remove makeup. I just use these to give my skin a refresher if I'm like feeling greasy or something. Obviously this is a day I'm not wearing makeup which is most of the time. Like if my skin just feels like ugh. You know, you know mm -hmm. the feeling like. Yeah. And we have oily skin yes. too. So throughout the day you can tend to feel kind of gross. Yeah. So it's just like I feel like I need to wash my face again. Yeah. But if you don't feel like doing that you can just use these wipes but um if you have dry skin i do not recommend these mm -hmm. to you because they are kind of drying but they definitely do the job of cleaning your skin because mm -hmm. these are for acne prone skin so that's why they're kind of drying so yeah i just really like these a lot and the smell is just out of this world amazing like they make me thirsty kind of yeah so yeah i just really like these wipes a lot do not use them on your eye area though they stink they will burn mm -hmm. so just your face area. yeah mm -hmm. Okay, so the next makeup wipes I have to mention are from Clean and Clear, and you guys have seen us mention these a lot. Like, mm -hmm. these are the Clean and Clear Nighttime Relaxing All-in-One Cleansing Wipes, and they're oil-free. I'm obsessed with these wipes. Uh, I feel like these are the best ones from Clean and Clear because they have, like, a regular version of their makeup-removing wipes, but I feel like the night-relaxing ones are 
way better in my opinion they smell amazing they don't burn your eyes they're fresh mm -hmm. smelling and they just feel so good like when you take your makeup off and they're good with eye makeup as well so mm -hmm. if like especially when you're traveling and you don't want to bring your eye makeup remover and a makeup wipe mm -hmm. these are really good to just bring these and it gets everything off mm -hmm. so i love these for nighttime to remove my makeup okay so the next product i have to talk about is from garnier clean i guess that's their skincare line this is the nourishing cleansing oil and it's supposed to dissolve impurities and makeup and replenish skin this product i was a little hesitant to try at first because it's a cleansing oil and i have oily skin but i just wanted to go ahead and try it because i heard good things about it and it was only like 5.99 so i was like why not and the first thing the smell i just got some on my finger the smell is like amazing it's like a yeah, nice smell good fruity fresh smell but not too fruity to the point where it's just like ridiculously sweet mm -hmm. it's like a light smell it's amazing i just want to put it in my hair that's how amazing it is this i was like i thought it was going to break me out because it is an oil and i thought that it was going to like clog my pores it does not do that like seriously guys i like to use this to take off like my entire face makeup like when you don't want to spend the time using a wipe you can use this in the shower and kind of like work it in your face and it breaks up all your makeup and literally you guys all my makeup is completely gone when i use this and i also wanted to try it because we're going well we're in the colder months now and sometimes my skin can tend to be more dry than normal and i think this is going to be really really good for you know the colder months to remove my makeup because it's moisturizing this says it's for dry skin and even though i'm oily i still love how this works for me so if you guys have tried this let me know if you like it because i'm obsessed with this stuff and i've never tried a cleansing oil until i bought this so i think i'm a fan of cleansing oils now because it's something different not just a typical makeup wipe even though i still love my makeup wipes this is a good alternative Okay, the next item that we're going to mention is something that we've mentioned before. Mm -hmm. But these are Holy Grail products, which is why you see a lot of repeated stuff. This is the Neutrogena Visibly Even Foaming Cleanser. Um, we absolutely love this cleanser. But I really like it for the day because it just brightens my face. Mm -hmm. So I really like that. It has soy in it, which you guys know my skin really likes soy. Mm -hmm. And it just says that it even skin tone, radiance, and smoothness. And, smoothness. and it says it helps naturally brighten skin. So this is really good if you have dark spots that you're trying to get rid of mm -hmm. and you want to use something daily to help treat that and to slowly get rid of it yeah it's not going to be like an overnight kind of thing but over time you will see a, a difference. difference yeah and clearly you can see this one is kind of you know mine is new yeah this is like the before this is the after <laughs> so you can see how much i love this and like kelsey i like to use this as a daytime cleanser okay so the next cleanser i have to talk about is from clean and clear this is the morning burst detoxifying facial cleanser and they have so many of these morning burst cleansers and i feel like some of them you can't even tell the difference the only difference one orange one yellow <laughs> one blue green they got so many colors but this one is the best in my opinion in particular i just love the fact that it says detoxifying when i'm not using my neutrogena visibly even one i like to use this one like i like to alternate my cleanser sometimes because my skin can tend to get used to one product if i use it for like too long like of a period of time mm -hmm. so i get excited when i start back using this like it just feels so refreshing and like your yeah. pores like it opens your pores and you can feel like your skin can breathe and it's like the perfect thing for the morning time because it does wake you up because it has like that cooling fresh feeling and the smell is super super nice and clean and you know you just like that feeling when you wake up to wash your face and i keep saying yeah because i use it too yeah kelsey also uses this i use this cleanser as yeah. well i just have to alternate with it because if i use this too much it can tend to dry out my skin around my mouth area uh -huh. so that's when i have to go to my visibly even right yeah yeah but nonetheless this is so so good mm -hmm. and if you guys are deciding which morning burst cleanser to, to try, try yeah get the blue one because it's the best yeah okay next moving on to toners um this toner has been my all-time fave for a very long time now i have been using witch hazel for years i've just recently gone back to using it like maybe five months ago and i use this as a daytime toner i don't use this at night because i use another one by mario badesco but i really like this one for daytime because it's not drying and a lot of toners have a lot of alcohol in them so they can tend to be very drying but this one is super lightweight the smell is not that pleasant but it's still a really good toner nonetheless and very inexpensive i think this big bottle was like four dollars at walmart so this is the dickinson's 
Witch Hazel, so it's just like the yellow packaging. So I really like this Witch Hazel a lot. And this one is the Pore Perfecting Toner. Well, it's only one kind. It just says Pore Perfecting Toner. It's 100% all natural, which is why it's non-irritating, which I really like. So I do use this in the morning because it's just so lightweight and my skin just loves this stuff. So I just use this before I put on a morning serum and my morning moisturizer. So I love this toner. It's amazing. So the toner that I have to talk about is from Neutrogena. This is the Oil-Free Acne Stress Control Triple Action Toner. And I've been using this for years. Like when I say years, a long time. And obviously I recently just started using, well not recently, for a while, for like two months now, I've been using my Mario Badesco mm -hmm. Special Cucumber Toner, which I love, but that's high end. But as far as drugstore, I will always go back to this one. I don't like any other toners in the drugstore except this one because I just feel like it's the most like potent but not drying if that makes sense especially if you have like acne prone skin this is really good but it's like soothing at the same time I just love the way it smells and the way it works it has micro clear technology it eliminates oils refreshes and soothes treats acne before it emerges it's just pretty amazing even though it does have salicylic acid like acne treatment in it it's really really good for oily skin because like I said, I've been using it for years and it, it was working so long for me. So if I ever want to go back to a toner from my Mario Badesco one, it's going to be this one. Because like I said, it's the only one that works for me and I love it. Okay, the next product we're going to talk about is a serum. You guys have heard us talk about this serum many times. This is the L'Oreal Youth Coat Texture Perfector. Absolutely obsessed with this serum. This yes. is definitely the number one in our book serum at the drugstore. It's amazing. It is a bit pricey for the drugstore, but um, if, if I were you compare you, it to Sephora prices, yes, I would definitely buy this. prefer to spend twenty dollars on a serum versus 50. 60, 50, 60 up to a hundred dollars for a serum. Pretty much. So twenty dollars, I'm all here for it. Yes, this serum is absolutely amazing. It has amazing smell. It just makes your skin more glowy. Yes, smooth. Smooth. It like like it says, it's a texture perfector. So it's gonna perfect mm -hmm. the texture, texture that you have skin. going on on your yeah. skin. And also, it helps with dark spots too. So mm -hmm. it's like another all-in-one kind of product. And I love all-in-one products because it helps you save more money. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to buy one thing for this, one thing for that. It's just like a one-stop shop. Yeah. And we both use this in the day. Time. Do you yeah. use daytime? We both used to use this in the day and the nighttime, but mm -hmm. now this has become our daytime serum because we use the old Henriksen nighttime um, serum. Yeah, the nighttime serum. Mm -hmm. So this has just become our daytime serum. It's amazing. Yes, and it doesn't like make your skin oily, oily so yeah. it does good under makeup. Mm -hmm. So I really like this a lot. It dries really fast. Yeah, it does. Yes, it does dry fast. Yeah. It smells so good, mm -hmm. and you just feel so luxurious and girly with the pink bottle. <laughs> I just I love this stuff so if you haven't tried it I highly recommend it and who doesn't you know want to start anti-aging early especially mm -hmm. when it's not burning a hole in your pocket yeah you might as well try it give it a go mm -hmm. you're gonna love it because we're obsessed with it yeah and this is not a moisturizer I know no. a lot of people get confused with, with serums, serums. Serums are not moisturizer. They're just for anti-aging and texture. Mm -hmm. They're not meant to moisturize your skin mm -hmm. uh, per se. That's what a regular yeah. moisturizer is for. They're meant to perfect yes. any imperfections that you have yes. going on. on your skin. So they just absorb into the skin a lot a faster. faster than a moisturizer. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to clarify that because I know some people tend to get a little bit confused. And you always apply a serum before a moisturizer. Mm -hmm. Always. Yeah. Okay, so the next matching product that we have is from Aveeno. This is the Clear Complexion Daily Moisturizer with salicylic acid blemish treatment in it. Yeah. For clear, even looking skin and it helps prevent breakouts and it has soy in it. Yes. This moisturizer, Kelsey and I used to use years ago. Like, mm -hmm. we've been using this for a while even though we've alternated between other moisturizers. Mm -hmm. This has been like our go-to every yeah. time we don't know what else to use in the drugstore because yeah. like it says clear complexion so it's the only thing that helps like if you have a breakout going on and it's like like I don't know it's just a good all-around moisturizer yeah like, I'm helps, obsessed. yeah I am so it helps with brightening mm -hmm. and like Kim said it helps with breakouts because I had like a little breakout going on over here and this has definitely helped to clear, it up. clear my skin up and to like calm it mm -hmm. because this is not a like super strong product because it has salicylic acid in it blemish treatment it seems like they have a very small, small amount. amount yeah mm -hmm. i don't use this in the day me personally kendra does i use it in the daytime um i only use this at night after my night serum so this is my nighttime moisturizer and i absolutely love it one pump and i'm good to go 
Okay, and the last thing we're going to mention to you guys is a mask. This is the Clear Pore Cleanser and Mask, but we use it as a mask. From um, Neutrogena. From Neutrogena. This is just a really good go-to mask that's inexpensive. Mm -hmm. If you're like having some breakouts and you just want to clarify your skin from the inside out. Mm -hmm. So this is a really good mask from the drugstore. That and it's very potent. Like, it is. It's very cooling. You can mm -hmm. feel it working. Yes. And for me personally, I like that feeling with masks because mm -hmm. I don't want to feel like I don't have anything on my face. Yeah. I want to feel, feel it, it working. working. Oh, I just love that feeling. And this will give you that cooling sensation. Mm -hmm. Like, it's amazing. So, we like to use this as the drugstore version of a mask. So, this is really good. Okay, so that completes our Holy Grail drugstore products. This video is probably going to be super long. But it was for you because y'all love the long videos. <laughs> But we wanted to do this video especially because we just did a Sephora haul that was kind of intense and we spent way too much money. <laughs> and we know that a lot of you guys don't, you know, really want to spend a whole lot on high-end products. Even though me and Kelsey love high-end products, we wanted to give you guys some alternatives for makeup and like skincare products for the drugstore so that you can go get it easy access. Don't have to spend too much money. Mm -hmm. You gotta spend some money if you buy everything, but it's still cheaper than if you were to get it at Sephora or Ulta or something like that. Yeah. So we just wanted to do this video for most of you guys who want to use drugstore stuff and not start using high-end stuff yet. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to mix it up a little for you guys. Yeah, because Kendra and I, even though we buy a lot of high-end things, we still love drugstore drug products. products. And these in particular, we will continue to use mm -hmm. forever. Yes. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time. Bye!